Hey, it's Jeff Schmidt with a production blog, and today I want to take you inside my Apotheosis Remix sessions, the specifically the Apotheosis Delirium Remix, and uh, somehow some of that effect came over onto my Ash on Dust stuff. So for the Apotheosis Remixes, you can hear that here, and the Ash on Dust stuff here. Okay, so the sound in particular I want to talk to you about today is what I call the Rezo Bass Drone of Doom. And uh, just to give you a little heads up, the Rezo bass looks like this. It's basically just an acoustic bass with a resonator plate on it, and it's a four string. This one happens to be left handed. I bought it from Steve Uccello. It's got a really nice kind of. It's got a nice organic sound to it, and I find myself really drawn to it. It's really an inspirational instrument. It's kind of tougher to play, so I'm not really into playing a lot of fast stuff with it. So I mostly just use it for sound. Um, sound design and things like that. So one of the, the sounds I came up with specifically for uh, this sound or this track, the Apotheosis Delirium, was what I called the Rezo Bass Drone of Doom. And it sounds like this. I'll pre-roll like two bars on this just so you can kind of get a vibe. This particular remix in the second half had this kind of really spacey, almost horror movie kind of soundscape thing going on with all kinds of weird sound design going on. Uh, so here's a piece of that. So that deep kind of distortion sound is the Drone of Doom. Right? So if we take a peek inside that, um, let me just uh, cue one up here. And uh, turn off all the effects. We'll just solo this and we'll take a listen to it in a clear. Pretty simple, right? It just sounds like an acoustic bass. Two notes, that's all it is. So, how to turn that into the Drone of Doom? Well, first, a little chorus. Chorus, I just used the stock, Avid. Well, actually, uh, this was, uh, yeah, the stock chorus. Just to kind of give it that kind of quivery sound, right? EQ, which was mostly reductive. Just wanted to shape it to kind of get, to kill some of the unnecessary frequencies. This was gonna be a drone sound, so I just really wanted to make it, um, limit the amount of frequency range it was going to occupy so it would save room for all the other goodness, which was... Right? And then, uh, finally, the, uh, what I would call the, um, secret sauce. Just pop this into grid mode for a second so we can loop this. Which is the Sound Toys Devil Lock Deluxe. This is the, this is the drone, this is what, this is the Doom Maker. Right? Pretty boring. Let's try it again with this. It's got a really great sonic texture to it. again right here. So, one of my favorite sounds from this project, which I then carried over to Ash on Dust, and let's take a listen to that. So for Ash on Dust, um, I took the same concept and then, yeah, I just opened the same session, uh, and kind of just pumped it up a little bit. So it's, used in just about every Ash on Dust track. And I think I just I just end up using it pretty much everywhere because I just love that kind of dark texture to it. Just kind of um, almost synth-like, but uh, it's still kind of, since it's based on the Rezo bass, it's still a plucked note. And um, it kind of has a really cool deep vibe to it. So this is the Ash on Dust track, The Black. And this also employs the Drone of Doom, the Rezo Bass Drone of Doom. So there's this little section where there's the intro, and then it kind of breaks down for a second, and then it comes in with a full, a full bore.
So let's first, that's with the Drone of Doom. Now let's listen to it without the Drone of Doom. It's cool, right? I mean, it's still cool, but that Drone of Doom really just seals the deal for me. That's what makes it, for me, it's like almost the defining characteristic of Ash on Dust. Just totally fills it in and seals the deal. So again, if we examine this track, we'll find it's really just the rezo bass. Almost has a piano-like quality to it, but... And again, it's really just chorus. EQ is a little different because it's got to sit in with the track. This track's mixed differently, so it's got to sit in differently. A little boost around 3K, right? But again, the secret sauce is the devil lock. Right? And it just kind of creates this great kind of deep texture in there. Again, it's not this really upfront distortion. It's really kind of just tucked in the back. Just the way it kind of sits in there. It's one of my favorite kind of sounds of this project. And I try to... <laughs> keep trying to find spots for it and all the pieces that we do and you if you listen to ash on dust stuff which you can find yeah or yeah or here or here one of these spots i'm going to put the ash on dust link uh you'll hear that kind of popping in and out in different spots and a lot of times it's used very subtly but it's still an effect i've kind of fallen in love with and towards the end of the track here it's not actually a drone but it's much more of it kind of fills in the high end much more higher right it's got a much higher vibe vibe on it than before so it's just the same thing just played higher up the neck so that's the rezo bass drone of doom i'll give you uh more insight into more tracks from both uh my apotheosis remix and the ash on dust stuff later on hope you check it out thanks for watching